Now, what I'm going to show you is how I prepare peacock hero for dyeing. Now, this is a small hank of hero that I've actually... What I've done is I've removed it from the stem of the peacock feather and then I've whipped it at the end basically so that I can then dye it. Now, all I do is, it's quite simple, so I've got a feather here, there's no eye on it, I've removed the eye for the quill but then for the, the hero what I do is I just bring the fibres 90 degrees out, tear it off, and I just lay it on my, my desk. And I do one feather, gives you a small hank. Now, I've selected these, especially this feather, because the hero's quite fine. I like doing, I like the fine one, especially for doing like dial backs, and that's what I'm going to be tying. So, in black is a good colour. So, you just Continue, turn them off, line them to quite close, you want them close here. I mean, obviously one or two fibres that are broken, like this one, take that away. You know, just tear it off. And just keep going. To we complete it, turn it around to the other side. It's a bit of a, it's a, it's a job worth doing if you want to pick the best fibres or the best hero for your dial backs or whatever you're tying. I prefer to do this. It doesn't really take that long. So just let's say keep going to the feathers. Finished. Put two or three more here. These are nice feathers and nice fibers anyway. One here. There we are. Throw the stem away. No use to it. Now what I'm going to do is lift these up. Basically, see these the ends. These ends here. I just to trim them. Lay them on my desk just to the side. And then you've got plenty of good good hair all there. Then get your bobbin holder. You in this case I've got black thread, and then just bind them together. And then what I do by hand is I put finish. That's fine. And there we are. And that's them ready. Give me the excess thread. Now, I just do a batch as I say, and then I dye them. In this case, I'm going to be dyeing them black. Uh, I like to add a wee touch of red in uh, the black just to. Give it a, a like a double dye usually works really well, but red and we touch a red in, and then the, the black itself, and there you go. And that's how I prepare the hero for dyeing. Now we've prepared all well, our peacock hero, as you can see. Now what I've done is I gave it a quick wash. I'm ready to dye it black. So I've got a couple of pints, a litre of warm water, uh, just coming to the boil at the moment. And all I'm going to do is. I like to double dye the peacock hero as I said. So a wee touch, this is fluorescent red. I'm just gonna dissolve the dye in the in the water. And then what I'm gonna do is basically get some black. This is the black dye. This is these are vineyard dyes. Now don't be shy with the black. And then we put this in and mix it, making sure it's dissolved. And then we're going to add the peacock kettle. So we're just going to put this in. And then just get it to so basically soak into the peacock kettle. Now I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the peacock kettle starting to uh, it's actually floating. Now if I get a wee drop of the Fairy liquid. I'll show you a tiny wee drop. This is just normal fairy liquid. And we just a wee touch in the top. And give it a wee quick stir. And you'll see how it actually puts peacock hair all below the water. It takes uh, any oil on the surface away and it causes the hair to basically sink. I'll not do any harm to the dye. 
So just keep mixing it to be they're happy. Now we're going to basically bring this to the, the boil. So I'll put the, the lid on. Then I'll put in, I'll set it with the vinegar once it starts to boil. Now it's starting to boil. I'm going to add, add the vinegar. So just keep stirring it. And then add the vinegar. And this will set the dye. Just keep stirring. Black, you've got to get plenty of time to take. So you have. And then what I'm going to do then, once I've made sure it's well mixed, I'll put the lid back on and then bring it back to the boil. And then what I'll do is I'll rinse any excess dye out with peacock kettle. So put the lid back on, bring it back to the boil. Now I've had the, these, the, fe the peacock kettle on for about 3 or 4 minutes and it should be okay. Now what I've done here so you can see what I'm doing, I've actually got, I'll bring out a couple of these and I'll put them into this small basin and then we'll see how they'll have died. Now if you can quickly give them a wee quick wash, you see there's no dye coming out and uh, I'll just have to cool them down. And you can see by them they're okay. I'll just lift out the rest. Put them into the basin. I think that's it. And you see a nice black, nice dark black. And uh, all we have to do is just allow them to dry naturally and you'll have lovely hair tying tie in your dial box and so on. Now, this is the end product, uh, basically preparing the peacock kettle for dyeing black. And you see it's got a nice dark colour. you still get the slight bronze-like colour coming through, but that's what you want. And uh, for tying many patterns, like especially that, like, Dull bass, black dull bass with this is, is actually perfect and it uh, doesn't take a lot of work but you do end up with a very nice herald and you end up with some nice nice quality flies so I hope you enjoyed that wee bit of information on how I prepare and dye the peacock herald. Mm -hmm.